I'm with uh, members of the Pearl Harbor Shipyard and the Intramural Faculty, Dr. Young, um, interested in um, establishing a CTE program for ship repair in the high school. And so we have a pilot project that will uh, go on this summer, and they're really yeah, looking for mechanical engineers. But they wanted to start a lot sooner, so we will. Uh, he will probably be on site this summer to launch that program. And then, uh, basically, from the last uh, couple of weeks, the uh, PDC and AC ACCT um, meeting that was held in South Canada really established a collaboration between all the boards of trustees and regents throughout the Micronesia region. Uh, region. Um, and again, their focus really is on supporting the institutions uh, ultimately student success in the various worlds. And um, the college also signed off on an agreement with Grand Canyon University that allows for students who are pursuing their associate's degree in PN or their degree in medical assistant assistance to concurrently enroll. So they can be enrolled in our program and concurrently enroll in your program, which leads to a bachelor's degree. So that uh, document has already been executed and um, signed off and returned to them. Um, uh, one of the things I want to highlight is as a result of the ACT GLI, uh, really what is our student trustee participation in that forum, uh, in that conversation. And he actually had a really good idea. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we start talking about academic advising during professional development. And the suggestion that can be made actually was, why not use the students as the gauge as to whether or not they are receiving the academic advisement instead of the other way around, the reaching out. So his approach, I think, is a uh, very forward approach in ensuring that students actually get the support that they need and letting the students be in front of the academic advising as opposed to waiting for it. And uh, I think it was well received by the other regents and trustees for their um, and so his participation in that was, was really good. Uh, spring semester enrollment for CTE students at the secondary schools is at 2,654. So that's at the uh, six high schools. Uh, we did have meet the president uh, sessions February 15th and 14th, and there are several um, issues that we are going to be working with. Um, the students had some concerns on it, we're looking at now. We will be starting the launch of summer and fall 2024 semester schedules at the end of this month. And as we reported last month, we started the campus tours, FAFSA conferences, college fairs. They seem to be reoccurring uh, now that students are again closer to graduation. We're almost at the end of the academic year uh, for high school. And so there's a lot of efforts in that and also on the uh, internally at GCC here as well. Um, I did participate in the ACTE, ACTE CTE summer panel on February 16th at the University of Guam. And we also had several faculty and administrators that also attended the additional sessions on February 17th as part of CTE month. Uh, in terms of grants that were recently submitted, uh, we did submit a USDA NEPA grant, which is to help fund a garden for first year culinary students, but also subsidize funding to subsidize um, books, uniforms, and tools for a three year period. And the second grant that we, uh, that we submitted was also the Youth Build grant that really focuses on adult education in combination with construction training uh, through classroom and learning labs, so live learning labs on work sites that actually help build facilities for um, those that are either homeless or. Um, and this is a grant we applied for many years ago. Uh, we did receive information from Field that we submitted all the required documents, so now the competitive process, so we'll see how that goes. But our, the grants team are actually working and continuing to submit us uh, funding requests. The fact book has been finalized, printed, and uh, we do have uh, the posted on the website. And then HR um, presented the Employee Health and Benefits Fair for all the employees here, uh, giving that information on different types of health services that are available and, of course, retirement services as well. And there has been some movement of administrative staff. Um, we have several uh, administrative staff that have been promoted to program coordinators, and so we're now going to start promoting lower levels of the institution, so uh, that 
that movement will start happening in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the college also completed the drug and alcohol abuse prevention program procedures, and this is a uh, employee assistance program, um, and so that information um, will be made available. It will be included as part of our, it's a, it's a requirement for us, uh, but it will also be included as part of our ICER, and uh, we just want to thank the DAP committee for their work on that. And um, Building B is coming up. Building B Furniture and Equipment now has all been awarded, so that will uh, help support the construction, which I'll talk a little bit about later on in the future. And that's all I have. Student trustee. So uh, I assisted Richard College with the following kind of stores, which was on Jan 17 with the three exchange students, um, Jan 23 with Chita, Jan 24 with JFK and Blue. Um, Jan 25 with Southern and JP Torres, February 8th with Juan Academy, February 15th with George Washington, March 5 with uh, ND, and March 15th with JFK Rosa program. And then on January 26th, Costa uh, hosted a student organization with special training for new and returning officers to get familiarized with norms and procedures. And then January 19th, um, we had our Costa General Membership meeting. And then February 9th, we had I attended the federal, uh, federal resume writing and job application training, which was uh, conducted by the Department of the Navy. Um, they uh, did the free training covered um, writing resume and applying for employment with the federal government and military. And we also went to uh, navigate through the USA jobs. And then they also gave us tips for resume writing. And then on February uh, 13th, we had the, and 14th, we had the Nika president. And then February 28th to March 2nd, I attended the Pacific Island College of Public School. And then um, March 8th, um, we, Costa and CSI hosted the EDGE Conference, which was uh, considered a workshop such as Job Seekers Guide, Wellness Photo Workforce, the Art of Interviewing. And then March 14th, Better Club had their uh, lunch sale. March 15th, uh, today we, uh, we have our Costa General Membership meeting. And then um, student leaders' applications now open for academic year 24 25. And elections will, be, uh, will take place uh, from 10 a.m. from um, Monday, April, April uh, 2024, uh, 8 p.m. Um, to Wednesday, so April 10th. Um, <laughs> you know, because you know it. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, everybody. Um, so the spring semester is generally where recruitment activities pick up as well um, for faculty. And so there was on the 28th of February, there's a family roadmap, college career night held in the MPA. Um, the different programs were there showcasing and talking to students at the event. Um, and there were a good amount of students there. The MPA, well, those two rooms, or the few rooms that we were in were. Uh, there was a healthy amount of students there. Um, the upcoming, the, the, well, I'll say that for next, but there was the EDGE conference, like Kenley um, mentioned. Um, I've also been working with, uh, meeting with Dr. Gina and then meeting with our AIER department to talk about program review, which is what I discussed last time, um, and just working on ways to really make it meaningful um, because we really do want to find uh, ways to improve the programs and by looking at it in a way that we haven't before, which is what program review is doing. And so I met along with uh, the faculty senate president with um, AIER and we discussed ways that how that could happen and what that would look like. And that came from Dr. Gina as a suggestion after we could talk to her. Um, so that was very productive. Um, upcoming events um, that were sort of recruitment and were um, there's the Simon Sanchez Shark Day at the mall that we've been invited to participate in. Uh, their marketing program is putting on an event there. And so our programs are signed up to have tables and to uh, recruit students there. Um, there's the upcoming Map Kangaroo, which is not really a recruitment event, but it is a, a big event that is starting again uh, after, I think it hasn't been in person since COVID. So that's, um, this coming Friday, and Friday will be Friday. Uh, I think they have about 200 uh, students participating in that, so they'll do the testing, and then afterwards there's kind of like a carnival outside. 
um, where they can play games, sort of time and things like that. There's a young authors event that the education department is working with, uh, I think it's Price Elementary. Um, they were working on having the kids write books, and so it will be on April 6th in the MPA. Those books will be on display, um, and I think the students are also getting bus in to just see you know, um, what's going on. So that's occurring as well. Um, our English department on air, which is on art and research, the student showcase. Um, is also in uh, April 15th, on April 15th and 16th, and that this year we're adding in, uh, we're going to try also have a recruitment piece and advising piece that's, that's ongoing during that as well. Um, and then I know I mentioned it before, but the, um, the PDIC Faculty Professional Development Day is coming up very soon now, right after. Um, spring break, and we will be starting to advise on some sites to hear other ideas of how we can uh, work on advisement. Uh, today is the Chamorro Challenge Bowl, and so we have a team made up of mostly students, although one this morning messaged me that he's sick, and I think I have to step in. Um, I was going to go, but now I have to, I think, I think because he needed someone three or four, and he had three, so unless someone comes in at the last moment. But that's fine, that's PBS, I think agencies that come together and questions around history, even art, so songs, and then language questions, Chamorro language questions. So these students are coming from our Chamorro language, or our Chamorro program, our version program, and they are teachers at GBM, so the ones that, you know. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, so most of our are uh, working on the current semester, the spring semester, and the semester for graduation. Uh, and, uh, the support staff is also working on the uh, support staff and the general membership and the pandemic. Uh, um, we are looking at uh, reviewing our constitution and Signed and years and years ago, and um, see if there's any change that you want to make or if the next to be asking to be approved. We might revisit it. Of course, the college is having the semester of the previous on the 22nd. So, Saturday? Right, 22nd to Friday. Looking forward to that. And like uh, Ms. Mary mentioned, um, HR had a good um, report on the field and the different um, health um, organizations, but, and, which was pretty good. I went through it and uh, had to get more information on the stuff that I currently have or I'm looking to, to expand and set up on to go out to the different places. To, to, uh, it was all in that we were Nice. So, um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. I just I wish everyone happy to be Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything from our trustees? Uh, oh, uh, as a member of the ACT, the Association of Career Technical Education, I too. Uh, participated in the ACT summit on February 16th and 17th. And as a member, I want to thank President Okada and Trustee Yolanda uh, and the GCC personnel who attended the summit for their participation. I think it was well received the education that was going on. There are a couple of requests for um, off island uh, professional yes. development. So, we request to have some of the um, Presentations here uh, presented in some yeah. So we've got a couple, so I'm not sure if both of them will attend. I know of at least one that will uh -huh. have a presentation. So. Yeah, yeah, well, it was well received. It looks like we might do something similar. Uh, we might organize something similar uh, more on uh, like a five yearly or four yearly. It looks like we have you with it. Okay. And the recent ACCT governance leadership institute in China. 
Um, there was a meeting as trustee, and I really mentioned Pacific Islands College Boards. It's a formation of a new organization um, with trustees in our region. And it was very, very insightful because with the presence of ACCT locally, Cuban the Governance uh, Leadership Institute, they have heard issues or concerns that affect our region specifically versus what they hear stateside. And so the purpose of that board is really to bring trustees across my region together so that we have one shared voice on things that affect us specifically because the constraints that we have with resources or culture um, specific to the way our students, um, the way we educate our students and the way the students receive education. So I think it's gonna be very, very fruitful. And I was fortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> elected as a secretary, right? So um, we will have a good presence as that board continues to develop. Did, did you, um, were there any initiatives that came from that? It's really just a formation at the moment, but to have ACCT come all this way and really be able to speak, because we had really, really good attendance from all the, the regions, community colleges, the trustees, and also the presidents of the administrative assistants, that they really were able to hear a lot of feedback and even when they were giving their instructional during the Institute, the Learning Institute, a lot of it ended up being catered to specific instances that we encountered because of where we're located and who we work with right now. So they had to manipulate and change some of their instructional uh, curriculum to accommodate region specific issues, which everyone really enjoyed and took advantage of. Um, to add on, on that, uh, it's a really great networking. And I think informing this, the Pacific um, Island College Board is we will have a collective uh, voice and, and really advocating some of the issues that are specific into our region. Um, we also have a collective voice to really highlight who we are in our region because most often when you go to the national, we only look at the little thing, you know, little black mass we have when you say Guam and then the Pacific Island. And I think we took that opportunity to really, um, um, for lack of a better word, really educate the, the representative from ACCT and who we are and the impact we do in this uh, Pacific Island. And we are actually bigger than whatever states we make when we look at our, uh, not only the landmass, but the vast Pacific Ocean that we're in. Um, so it's a really, it's, it's really designed and like, engaging discussions. Um, yeah, I want to again point out for Kenley for active participation as a student trustee. Uh, but we give us also, um, so that's a two days um, event. But it's also personally, you know, aside from building relationship with the other trustees, but you know, um, making that network more stronger, um, but that refreshing, uh, that refresher, um, uh, activities that we have, it just really helps us you know, enhance our knowledge and really understanding uh, how to become an effective board. Uh, you know, there are some personal initiatives and some past initiatives that we're going to bring back to the college. I know, you know with, with, uh, with, the, um, with our president, but also uh, what we can do as a board. So, and I think we are hosting. We said we we're going to host it. No, we didn't set yet, but yes, we did agree to host. Is this annual? Maybe annual report. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Excited? Yeah. Okay. And to add to that, I think uh, one of the takeaways that I had was uh, the fact that uh, <clears throat> the uh, trustees from the uh, islands uh, hold the GCC in high regard and, and look to GCC for guidance. Uh, with a lot of their specific uh, issues. Uh, uh, I think they, they're, they're in uh, direct contact with Mary and uh, uh, they're constantly asking Mary for advice and uh, direction on how to you know, do certain things. So I think uh, GCC uh, uh, will be a, uh, a, a, a leader 
And you know, to add to that, it wasn't just the trustees, but it was the federal presidents from the different colleges as well that look at GCC and Dr. Okada as a driving force in the region and with a lot of lessons to be learned based on what we've gone through already and some of the more creative things that we have going on locally and how they can try to implement that in their region. Right? So, uh, it was a good takeaway for all of us, I think. Cool. Okay, anything else? Okay. Moving on to the finished business. Uh, starting with construction project updates. Um, so we are completing now for the Rome Center the archaeological verification. Uh, it's a shizzle. Um, there are only two things that we are pending right now is the financial feasibility, which I've already contacted with the consultant regarding that. And um, I have meetings with a couple of banks uh, next week so that we can work through um, the financial requirements that is necessary. So Wellness Center is moving. It's we just got a few loose things to tie up. In terms of building B, as I mentioned earlier, we already uh, awarded the equipment for building B. It's now almost 65% uh, complete. It's starting to, we're starting to see now the second floor, and um, they're doing some flooring today, so that um, is moving along as well. Workforce Development Center. So, Workforce Development EDA did give us the approval to issue the notice to proceed. Awesome. So, that is exciting. Um, and the uh, procurement documents are at the AG's office, and we are hoping to receive that soon. I did have a discussion with AG. And so we should be getting that um, documentation signed off uh, soon. We'll talk more later. But um, the only thing that we needed to submit uh, prior to that memo that we received was the payment bond. Um, and they have developed a process whereby we submit that, uh, the remaining documentation. We were more than 98% complete on that checklist already with their office. And so um, it looks like that's going to be released really soon. So we can. Have another groundbreaking for the Workforce Development Center. Uh, in terms of culinary, culinary uh, is currently at 18.77% complete. And um, we are just waiting on the final um, drawings for the roof. But they are still working on the um, uh, what they can do in terms of the demolition, in terms of demolition, uh, installing water lines, water pipe, uh, copper pipes and stuff. So that is still proceeding, even though we don't have the final for the roof yet. So it's still at 18.77%. And building 2000 generator is at 90% complete. They're just um, finishing off some uh, additional work that they need to do um, based on the fire suppression system and the MIS fiber optic people. And so that's at 90% 90, 90 done. So we should see uh, end of the month is currently the uh, timeline for completion. That's building the 2000 generator. Moving on to accreditation updates. The second draft was submitted by all committees to the Vice President, and the Vice President is currently reviewing the, um, the second draft submitted, and the updates will be provided during College Assembly on April 1st. And uh, at the next meeting, we'll also get institutional set standards for the board's review and approval. So that will be coming to you as well. And that's all I have. Moving on to new business. Any other um, presidents travel requests? Yeah, so the only request I have here is for Lucian Live 2024, and this really is to secure the. Um, we need to figure out what we're going to do in terms of the upgrades to our integrated database because the managed cloud services will no longer be uh, provided to us. We are preparing the uh, RFP. Um, for IFB, I'm sorry, the IFB for that uh, process, so MFO is currently working on that. So this will help get us to the next level in terms of our cloud, uh, cloud uh, requirements. And that would be from 7 to 10. To 7 to 10. Can I get a motion to approve the President's travel request? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Can I get a motion to move to executive session? I move. 
Second. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes.
Okay. Can I get a motion to move out of the executive session back into regular session? Yes. So moved, Chair. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Can I get a motion to accept the President's report, please? I move. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. President's report accepted. Okay. Anything else we want to discuss before adjourning? Happy Easter. Oh, yeah. Happy Easter. Please join us next Friday at 11 30 for our lunch. Please join us there. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. 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 Sounds